purse to... Sucked. Yes, this is the worst Carter's movie. No competition. Carter's 3, of course. Probably my favorite movie. And Cars 2 is, I'm not saying Cars 2 is the worst movie ever, they're bad or maybe it's so, like, uh, you know, you know, but we could have made it so much. So here is what, how I would write Cars 2. Da da! So we all know in the actual Cars 2, there is the whole Leland Turbo scene and he gets killed. However, I think it's time. We start with the rated or spring loose because that's literally what serves the plot. Yeah. So, you know, Mater's same old story. Mater's just stumbling around, finds Otis on the thing. He's like suffocating on the middle of the road, well, on the side of the road. So, Mater's nice, so he helps him. Oh my goodness, cartoons. Well, Mater's just. Mater's always funny, which makes him. Then he always. Then he sees McQueen on the side. He completes. He forgets the entire fact that he is pulling. O Otis, like, what do you think that weight is behind you if you don't even forgot you were pulling somebody? Like, who do you think that'd be? Like, who do you think you'd be pulling? Anyway, so of course, it goes the same. They're going on a heavy adventure. And then Mater kind of, like, Mater sees a glimpse. Okay, you know, it's the same old thing. Mater just sees a glimpse of his best friend over there with his other friends. So, Mater gets going his over fast. Otis is suffocating even more than he already was. And, um, yeah, I, I think I'm surprised that Otis didn't, like, slap him in the face after this. Like, can Chris slap? They have wheels. Like, how could they do that? Would they punch? Apparently, you can punch people in the face in their cars movies. I mean, we didn't Luigi ask Guido to punch him in the face in like the early episodes, in like the first Cars movie. Oh yeah. Anyway, it was of course. Mater comes in with Otis, and he forgets that he's pulling Otis, and Otis goes flying in a Ramon's place, and we get to witness Ramon Green. It's Ramon Green. You know, Lena McQueen and Mater have the little fun night, and they're on the train tracks, and they're <laughs> messing around. It's always really fun to watch them. That's the same Lizzie laugh of, don't think you grinder, calm down. Anyway, let's just, I'm just going to cross this off. Wait, what if Galloping Green Yonder... You know what, I'm gonna save it. What if Galloping Gear Grinder is Stantley? Wait, what? And then there's that scene where they get, like, dirted. Deserted and dirt. And then, yeah. It's about now in the movie we finally cut to the spy stuff. So, basically, Finn, of course, is on the boat. And, um, they're arriving. Like, seriously, how did the waves not crush them? Like, seriously. How did they not drown? Wait, can cars drown? I mean, I think I saw Keith Gremlin, like, get. What does it get by, like, the water? Like, he, like, hit the water and he, like, spread into pieces. That wasn't because of him drowning, though. Ugh, just watching it makes me scared. Um, And, of course, there's a big boat. T Tony! And then, of course, there's the scanning, scanning, and he's trying to, like, make him fall. There's all, all the, all the good, all, all the stuff we all know in both. Like, we all hate it. We all hate this movie, but not everybody hates this movie. Which was still someone who liked this movie. But, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Basically, they're being, yeah. Also, Finn is the worst character ever. I've always hated him. So, y Yeah. Ugh. It's just a whole spy thrill don't work for me. Bro's killing people with elevators. It picks up. Calm down. 
Bro. So then Finn McMissile does this little spaz thing where he's like climbing up like the amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, just whatever a spider can. Can you lift from this fall? Okay, I completely stole that joke from somebody else. Sorry, 709. Anyway, he's kind of like around it, somehow not falling. Like, bro. Oh my gosh, it's the amazing Spider-Man. Spider There's a whole oil rig chase, and everybody's going around the place. Finn's trying to defend himself, trying to kill people. Everybody. It's all oh, so stupid. And of course, he moves. He falls off. Now he's a jet ski. Apparently. And now. And there's this splash. The boats. Deep trouble. Finn is. And Finn is a complete murderer. Yeah. You all know the drill. Mater's sad because he can't hang out with his best buddy. Yeah, he's obviously trying to ruin his love life without him knowing. It's kind of funny. So, it's it really hilarious. And Mater comes in and he's the waiter. And Mater the waiter. Mater the waiter. My name is Mater. And I'll wait. Okay. Just, Mater's just so funny. Uh... Anyway, of course, he looked, he accidentally <laughs> kind of ruins it for them. He kind of ruins the experience. <laughs> okay, this is if I wrote it, so I gotta stop making all the stuff that did happen. So, okay, I'll stop with the flash boy stuff. It'll still happen, but not too much. <coughs> the spy will be cut down, and just to wait, we'll a spy thriller stuff will be cut down, and just wait to see what happens at the end. Of course, they're watching the Melderado show, and um, we're talking about some of uh, Sax Rod's, like, stuff. He's out in the woods. Billionaire missing. He's a billionaire? <laughs> Screw that guy. Anyway, he's always just Axelrod oil sold. He always got the stuff in the programs, fancy program. He's representing Britain like a rich man. And, um, it really goes good. And I think it sets a bad reputation because if you're in British, you're like, hey, why does the British guy have to be the bad guy or something? And, like, oh, what is. I think there's similar controversy with Rip Kutchgachi being from a made up country considering he's really gonna die. Like, bro, the real. The first name of the guy is R.I.P. Like, you think he was going to die, but he originally was going to have it. Because, like, if he was from an actual country, the, guy, the other people from that country would be watching. It's like, hey, why'd that guy have to die or something? So they'll be mad. So, and pictures are going to make people mad because they don't want to get lawsuited. So. Of course, there's a funny skit where they show um, Francesco Bernoulli, a character where he just got into Busu. Uh, he's plastic. It's plastic. Alright, and then of course he's all rambling and being Mater's trigger. <laughs> Wait, hold on, can you rewind it? I'm just gonna rewind it. Let me rewind it. Not having chance against Francesco. Uh, I can... <laughs> it's curse. <laughs> okay, this is one. <laughs> Okay, this is one thing. And now, this is when they get to the... Hey, McQueen! What happened? Is the race over? You won, right? So, yeah, they get argue and stuff. McQueen thinks a new one was racing. Yeah. Oh, you thought? Oh, that's funny right there. Nah, see, that's because I seen these two fellas doing some sort of karate straight performance. It was nacho. One of them had a flamethrower. Flamethrower? What are you talking about? I don't understand. Where were you? Going to make my date. Your date? Because of you. Well, I'm sorry. 
sorry, I didn't mean to. Imaginary girlfriend, flamethrowers? You think this is exactly why I don't bring you along to these things? So many shoes. Not an inconvenient idiot and just don't believe that Mater actually has a real girlfriend. And I, I don't think that's what she meant, but whatever. Mater's kind of funny. That makes him funny. Man, he, man, Queen yells at people a lot. First, first Mater, now Cruz. God. Um, anyway, they're arguing. And then, this is where the spy thriller ends. So Mater met Holly Shed well, which I forgot to show. Now we get back to the oil rig thing. So now there's um, the oil rig thing, and of course, the bad things happen. Like, they go back to the oil rig, and bad stuff happens. Look at poor Keith Gremlin! The bro suffocating! Finn McMissile, you monster! You're about to kill somebody! You could kill somebody, and he does eventually get killed. That's brutal! Not Finn, you should kill. Oh my god. This is just so much. Ooh, that movie so much. So Finn is just being chased, which he thinks is for his life, but really he's about to start a life of crime. <laughs> Screw Finn McMissile. God, and now he's trying to get the lemons killed uh, again. <laughs> so now all the lemons are gonna have to say their goodbyes because Finn is a monster. <laughs> so he's crazy, and uh, eventually he ends up in the spot. He's surrounded. Okay, so this is in my version. So Finn, they come near him, they threaten him with torches, and Finn forgets that he's on top of the place. And he didn't, he wasn't ready to apply it. And he drowned! Oh no, Finn is dead now. No, that's not good. Okay, I guess Holly's the only spy left then. All right. And of course, they were arguing and stuff, and it was pretty bad <coughs> all right now this is when mater like which is an apology letter and then mater's an agent and mcqueen feels bad and now there's porta corsa okay now it's time to go into the bat that of course there's the bomb. The uh, Mater's the bomb. No, he's the bomb. So the whole thing. Okay, just pretend you don't see this. Finn's not supposed to be here. He's supposed to be dead. Mater has a bomb on him, and S Scott Spark is mad at him because he's speeding. Okay. R really? He, he like, saves McQueen or something. McQueen's very sorry, and, yeah, that's really how the movie ends. That's really how it would end. So, yeah, bye.